All right, in this tutorial, I just want to show you how to set up simple game logics using Spline. So in the scene, I've got a plane, I have a sphere, and I have a cylinder. So what I want to do is actually be able to control the sphere with the WASD keys and have it move around, jump, knock into the cylinder, and then knock it over. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the sphere, come over to events, click the plus sign, and then right here where it says start, what we're going to do is use game controls. And it comes with a bunch of settings right here. I'm going to leave those at default. I'll close this, hit the play button. And now with my WASD keys, I can move around and the sphere is rolling around. Pretty awesome. And I can also hit the space bar and I could jump. Okay, I'm going to close that. Next thing I want to do is come over to this cylinder, come over to events and I'm going to actually use this collision right here. So instead of the game controls, I'll use the collision. And I'll click that. And it looks like it says right here, collide with the character. So we'll leave that as is. And I'll click the play button and let's see what happens. So I am able to collide with it, but I cannot knock it over. So let's check this out. So if I click on the cylinder again, scroll down, looks like, yes, we've got physics enabled right here. And the one thing that we want to change is where it says body type right here. It says position. And what we want to do is make this dynamic. So if I click that, it also has some other settings like the weight, so how heavy it is, um, the balance, and some other sec settings right there. So now if I hit the play button, I can come in and I can roll and I can collide with it. And it looks like I can almost knock it over. So let me close that click back on the cylinder, scroll down, and I'm going to take the weight down so it's a lot lighter. So let's try something like that. Okay, so it looks like it is almost working. Let's scroll down, weight down a lot more. Let's make this a little bit taller and a little bit skinnier. And see if that helps. There we go. All right, and just like that, it is working. We can roll around, and now if I want to just add a bunch of these, I can just, and now what I can do is do Control D, make a duplicate, and it has all the settings already ready to go. Control D makes another duplicate, and let's click the play button. And we'll roll onto these. And there's one fall. Awesome. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully that was helpful. See you in the next one.